crazy carnivore coincidences. Or are they? Hello, everybody. It is March 21st. We're getting into spring. We're getting into some sunshine, hopefully soon. And we can get out there, get our vitamin D on. And today, I wanted to talk about some things that aren't quite often discussed in the carnivore community. Um, most people, you know, generally, we talk about health and wellness and, and how or a proper human diet. And uh, today, I wanted to, first of all, ask you if you've noticed any weird things that just seem to happen the, the further you progress into this space. And for all the people that are just starting, maybe these are some things that you can look forward to because I've noticed quite a few of them. We've talked about side effects. We've talked about my beard, my skin, and a couple of these things relate to that. But here's some crazy coincidences. And are they? First of all, I want to quote this great book that I've read and I'm going to be reading a few times called The Kabbalion. And it's about causation. And here's the coincidence. This is chance. Every cause has its effect. Every effect has its cause. Not everything happens according to law. Chance is but a name for law not recognized. There are many planes of causation, but nothing escapes the law. So that's what I'm going to throw out there today. And the first one is we all know if you've been around my channel that I had a crazy winter beard, shaved it off. And this is the first year that this has happened now because of that. I shaved, I didn't have any shaving cream. You know, in my life, my whole life, I have been, you could, pretty hairy. You know, although my beard wasn't full, I could always grow fast, grow thick, just patchy. Now it's complete, it's kind of weird. That's one thing, interesting. Uh, but I don't use shaving cream anymore. I didn't need to. I shaved off my beard, I buzzed it off, like for the, lo the, the longer parts, and then to get there, I didn't have any shaving cream, so I thought, hey, I'll just use water. Could have used soap or something, but I'll, let's see how it goes. Everything was fine. I used to break out in rashes, get bad shaving burns, even with shaving cream. And, it, and you know, God forbid the razor was a couple uses old. It would be like, you know, blotchy patches everywhere. And I have been probably beardless now for just over a, oh, about, like, yeah, about a month-ish. And... I shave, I have to shave almost every other day, at least, maybe even every day, and I am not getting skin rashes. That is incredible because my whole life I've always been susceptible to, you know, neck rashes and, and blotchy, you know, sort of breakouts and, and like just irritated skin. It's kind of funny. I'm just using razor, water, face, and I take a cold shower every day. So quite often after the shower, it's so that my... I used to have to like warm my face up to open the pores and, and now it's just right out of the cold shower and I'm done. So that's kind of crazy. And, um, you know, in the long run, it saves me money. Uh, another thing now that I, I've been sort of experimenting with is I, I no longer use shampoo. I mean, if my hair for some reason was like drenched in grease or dirt or something, maybe, but I have not used shampoo this year. I've not used shampoo for a long time because once I started getting down into the chemicals um, factor, I just decided why. Like if they're unnecessary, maybe don't put them on your skin. And that leads me to the next one, which is soap. I have a bar of soap. I've, I think I bought two in the last year and I used to wash my hands, obviously, but no longer on my body. And I'm not greasy. My skin is, is what I like to say, pretty nice and soft. And it's just fascinating how now I don't just listen to what I've been doing my whole life and it seems to be working out great. And I mean, uh, it's just one of those things. So with the shampoo, shaving cream, um, and the soap factor, body wash, none of that stuff, well, that's saving money. And I mean, nowadays is with this day, in this day and age with the time, sign of the times, you know, every penny counts. So, you know, this is kind of cool. It's not anything to do with well, directly related to my diet, but, you know, cause and effect. Maybe that has something to do with it. Another thing that I have mentioned previously in my videos, but I have not used a painkiller in probably close to four years. Uh, well, three years anyway. Now, I don't even buy them anymore. I've had headaches, but they've gone away. They haven't been bad. I just have no longer needed. I've hurt myself pretty bad, yet I still don't take painkillers. That's kind of weird. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. 
I think it's all related to what I'm doing and, and how this is this is working out for me. So once again, saving money at the end of the day. It's you know, uh, if do do am I in pain sometimes? Yeah, of course. I work a pretty physical job. I, I you know from day to day there's some aches and pains, some strain, but I don't have the same pain. I, I guess threshold it's not the same kind of pain my joints don't ache i'm in no body pain anymore even when i'm sore it's sore from exertion if, if that makes any sense so i don't have painkillers and i mean you can ask my mother who we've sort of coached her through her the way she's doing her diet very very animal based and she still eats vegetables and you know even though i maybe disagree with some of it it doesn't matter she's got to live she's got to do her thing she's reversed her health she no longer uses painkillers she uses salt she every anytime she felt and she used to get sort of chronic -y headaches and anytime she feels one she just takes a pinch of salt that is crazy now is that just because after 76 years of my, my mom's life she no longer gets headaches no but the necessity for advil and tylenol it's it's arguable right and that's these are this is what this video is about just discussing these coincidences so you know we often are talking about always health always this but these are like these residual coincidences that yeah, I don't think are, right? The next one is I no longer use my glasses to see. Now I do need them to read, still working on it. This is a work in progress, you know, but I am like, it used to be, I would be not be able to see very well at all. Prescription glasses, I'm no longer using them and my eyes are getting better. Why? Is it weird? Is it's it's because is it because I'm just all of a sudden at 47 years old kicked into this super healing Wolverine status? Well, I would probably argue that there's something to do with what I'm doing to my body, and I believe nutrition is a large part of it. So that's what I'm saying there. The argument: my eyes are getting better. That's crazy. Now this is the most probably beneficial thing that's happened to me. Since I started into my health journey, so to speak, into the low carb space, feeling better, getting into the carnivore animal based space, feeling even better up to this point where I feel amazing every day. Now, my brain is electric. It's alive. I can't wait to learn more things. I'm, my thirst for knowledge is incredible after decades of not giving a shit. I, I read books. I want to learn things. I learn about biology, physiology, obviously nutrition. I am studying to be a nutritionist and that's another topic. But this has opened up my brain and has made me with just, I just want to I know things and I want to question things. And that's what we're doing on this channel. This is Food for Thought. My name is Anthony Stewart and we're questioning everything they've ever said. And it's my, I want to help you find your way and you know do i i have my bias of course i'm not a doctor i'm not a scientist but these are things that are residual spillover effects whether you want to call them side effects whether you want to call them coincidences or not that i've noticed now after almost two years of you know on and off 100 carnivore but mostly i would say animal based what do you want to call it obligate hyper carnivore these are things that i notice and it's it, there is no coincidence that this is happening. So let me know in the comments below what crazy coincidences you're, you encounter. And, um, you know, let me know your thoughts. I want to wish everybody happy spring. Stay strong.